And tonight at five with a crackdown on crime here in San Diego as hundreds of ghost guns are now off the streets after a new initiative from the San Diego Police Department and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. Our Sarah Barker was there when officials made this announcement on the ghost gun crackdown. She joins us live downtown with how officials say this made San Diego safer. Zara. Hey, Kathleen, Andrew, this was a three month initiative that started back on February 1st of this year and ran through May 1st just a few weeks ago. Officials from the San Diego Police Department and ATF say this crackdown was aimed at making the streets safer here in San Diego and cracking down on the illegal sale of guns and getting ghost guns off the streets. A three month multi agency effort to reduce violent crime in San Diego ended with 33 people prosecuted and 165 firearms out of criminals' hands. This was a collaborative law enforcement operation that focused on historical hotspots in San Diego for ghost gun seizures and then directed resources into those neighborhoods. The proliferation of drugs and firearms in our communities is an issue the San Diego Police Department is laser focused on. The San Diego Police Department and ATF used data to determine areas seeing an increase in gun violence and then went undercover, used surveillance and social media to catch 33 people who now face gun or drug related charges. The defendants face between four and eight years in state court if convicted. These are some of the items seized, 165 firearms, including 82 ghost guns, fentanyl, meth, silencers and switches, which police say can make a firearm function like a fully automatic machine gun. These guns have become a weapon of choice for violent criminals. They are constructed in somebody's basement or garage without serial numbers or background checks. There was a 401% increase in ghost guns recovered by San Diego County law enforcement officials from 2019 to 2021. Our streets are safer today because of the removal of these untraceable firearms. And let's be clear why these exist. They only use it or being used to cr cover criminals' tracks. One of the people arrested was a 22-year-old Marine caught selling 22 ghost guns. Christian Ferrari, an active duty U.S. Marine stationed at Camp Pendleton, was charged with illegally selling ghost guns to an undercover AD ATF agent. Let today be a loud message to those making and selling firearms to prohibited people and to those who are modifying these guns into automatic machine guns. ATF is focusing on you. And this initiative ran from February 1st through May 1st, ending just a couple of weeks ago. Law enforcement officials say just because this initiative is over, their efforts of getting ghost guns is far from over. In fact, San Diego Police Department was one of the first in the entire nation to create a task force aimed at getting ghost guns off the street. Live downtown, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.